welcome to episode 10 of 100K at 100% ROI in 100 days. We have actually sourced 77,000 of potential profit so far, so we are very close to finished. We still have some work to do ahead of us. I wanted to show you guys this sale that happened very recently, FBM. We actually ended up purchasing 15 of these in the last episode, and we purchased them for 10747 each, and we plan on selling them for $300. We sold our first one which feels really good because we only had it listed for a couple of days for $300. So that's going to be $160 in profit on that one. And we still have another 14 of these to sell. So we're super excited about that. Super good to see that we made a relatively big purchase and it's actually going well so far. Here's one we bought recently. We purchased it for $335 and we plan on selling it for $700. At least that's what we sold for last time we were in stock. So this is going to be $272 in profit. Super happy with that purchase. Just a little update for this part of the challenge. It is October 4th today. So you're seeing this pretty far in the future. This week is actually an extremely busy week. We have people staying over at our house. We have a wedding that we're going to. We have a rehearsal dinner that we're going to so this week overall is just a pretty busy week and then after like four days it calms down this is kind of coming right into q4 at the very beginning of this so definitely wanting to get the spend to make sure that it continues to stay up with this and continue to get readjusted to FBM. I'm still learning so much with FBM. Like I literally just learned the other day that I can do bulk shipping uh, with FBM and not have to individually print every single label. So that's gonna save me a lot of time, but we got a lot of work to do. So I'm excited to take you guys along with me. What's up guys? So today we had a few things sell. Uh, number one, uh, this laser jet toner. So that was one where it was showing up as letting me get auto ungated in that toner and uh, Amazon definitely didn't let me sell that. So I'm just liquidating that. But the big news of the day, this one item was that purchase that we made that was around $145 in buy cost and was going to be $800 sale price, which is absolutely nuts. And then that person went and bought four of them. So literally that was a $3,400 buy. So I'm super excited to see what's going to happen with that. I'm super crossing my fingers to hope that they actually keep the item that, that it works for them. We will see though. And then we sold another $300 item and a $55 item. So super happy with how that sales went. Uh, yesterday, we ended up spending around $1,200 for $1,100 of potential profit. So super happy with that. And uh, I'll let you guys know how the rest of the week goes. My glorious pile of boxes. All right, so it is near the middle of the week, and it's been such a busy week. So we are going to play a little game of what were the last three items that sold in my store I haven't looked yet, and what were the three last uh, purchases that I made. I don't know if they're going to be FBM or FBA. So this is kind of a funny one. We're going to start with the least recent and go to the most recent. So the second and third most recent sale were these cough drops. Uh, it's a two pack of these. I was selling these in bulk a long time ago. And I guess the warehouse found like a stash of them somewhere of mine. So I sold them for $11.77 each. We probably lost some money on this one. Um, I kind of don't know what happened with this or why I sold them at $11.77. Maybe my price was updated from a couple months ago. Uh, so that's kind of funny. Uh, that's just real life. The warehouse will just randomly find stuff and it will sell. And then this one, this was a thrifted item and I'm 99% sure I sold this in used condition. We sold it for $123. We purchased it for $9 for $95 profit. Super happy with this one. This was a subcategory, but based on the number of reviews, I knew that it was at least getting some attention. So we went ahead and listed it and ended up selling. So this one was two sales, but we're going to go ahead and show uh, the next one after that. So this was a fast moving office product. We purchased for $19.99 and we sold at $43, giving us $13 profit, 66% ROI. These have been selling really quickly for us, so super happy with that. And now on to the purchases that we made. So this is the third most recent purchase that I've made. This one we plan on selling for $417 and we purchased it for $139.82. This one was listed at around $150. We sent an even deeper offer on this because we could tell that it probably wasn't going to get purchased within 24 hours. This one's going to be $230 profit. This is the type of item. It looks slightly open box, but I think the customer is going to be happy with it. And it's kind of a more vintage type item. So this will be a really good one. 
So this is one I'm not 100% sure how it's going to go, but there's a lot of money to be made if it does go well. This one we plan on selling for $500. We purchased for $143 for $303 in potential profit. But the problem with this one is that a lot of the items were stock photos or there are multiple quantities. And so this one, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to actually receive it in new condition. I'm thankfully FBMing this one so I can check it and see if it's like acceptable to sell like this. We'll see if I have to return this. But if this goes well, this is going to be $300 profit, which is absolutely nuts. We've sold this two times in the past, but we didn't buy kind of one of those stock photo type items. It looked like someone was listing the item before, uh, but this one we're less sure about. The last two items, by the way, I found, I think the first time I found them through Flipmine and then the next time I was looking for my ASIN profitability and trying to restock those items. That's a really good way to source if you guys don't do that already. But this one is a low ranked electronic around 10K in electronics. We plan on selling for $155. We purchased for $57.35 for $75 profit and 133% ROI. This one, I think it was a auction that we sniped because I randomly saw it in my cart and I'm like, why is this here? What is this? What's going on? <laughs> I should probably have a better system for that. But this one's going to be $76 profit. Super happy with this one. The week so far is going really well. We were able to list around $6,000 of profit FBM. So super happy to have the basement kind of cleared of that stuff. And more stuff is coming in by the day. Probably three times a day I have boxes being dropped off at my house, which is kind of wild, but it's good because right now it is the early part of October, around October 7th. You guys will be watching this in the future. Q4 is 100% picking up. There's a ton of money to be made. So focus and uh, find as much profitable stuff as you can. FBM if you can. If not, keep sending your stuff in. January is an amazing sales month as well. So it's October 9th, and we are at the last day of this episode. So far, we have spent $68,701 in the challenge so far, and that is for a potential profit of $82,805. So we're at the end of the 10th episode of the 100-day challenge, so that's 70 days in. So we're super far ahead of schedule still, 82 out of uh, 70 instead. Really happy with the progress on that. It's October 9th. You guys will probably be watching this right in the heart of Q4. That's kind of what I'm gearing up for right now. So far in the month, we're slightly behind on sourcing. So that's going to be something that we're working a lot on in the next episode. Another thing I'm trying to do and adjust into is with FBM. If I'm sending a certain amount of profit in every single week, I need to be listing that same amount of profit as well. So I'm trying to shoot for anywhere between six and 8,000 in potential profit, like actually listed. Uh, so when I receive the items, I'm wanting them to get listed quickly. Uh, so that's something that I'm going to be working on a lot as well. Thankfully, this week, it was a holiday week. So Monday, I didn't have to do as much FBM shipping. Uh, we have like 23 orders to go out tomorrow because it's uh, Monday, it's Columbus Day. So I have some extra time to list and extra time to source. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you guys haven't joined the free Discord down in the description below, go ahead and do that. We have Flipmine guides. We have a huge list of brands that work pretty well, eBay to Amazon, and we also have a lot of experienced sellers in there who are really good at answering your questions, including myself. So we'd love to see you guys in there and join us as well. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day and take care.